across Glasgow. And then you, what you're interested in is not the dwellings, but whether there are links between the dwellings. And we're measuring that link between, in terms of perceived substitutability. And then you have to codify that in what's called an adjacency matrix, which looks very similar to a W matrix, except these connections can occur in between two nodes that are not close in space. It allows for wormholes. That's an interesting question, I think, about whether there are links to be made between social network analysis and spatial metrics. I don't know enough about social network analysis to, to answer that question at this stage, but it seems to me that alternative definitions of W metrics that allow for more meaningful uh, uh, connections between points in space might be interesting. And what social network analysis allows you to do is to, is to model, to explain what causes those links to occur. So in our case, we're looking at the extent to which that substitutability between pairs of dwellings is driven, of course, by similarity in dwellings, whether they're attached, flat, semi attached, etc. But we're also really interested in the extent to which um, whether there vary the differences in the religious makeup of two areas, whether that affects where the probability of a connection occurring in some space. And our initial results, which are very preliminary, um, show that there are really strong effects by, by race and religion in, in driving the substitutability. Um, 